My name is Colleen French, and it's truly an honor to be the Department of Energy Program Manager for the new National Park here at the Hanford site. I have worked alongside so many of you over the last 10 years uh, to bring us to this grand day, and it is truly amazing to be with all of you today as we celebrate this new park. Um, the conventional wisdom was that we would never get this done. This was a former nuclear production reactor. You can't save it. It's going to cost too much. It's too old. Nobody's going to want to see it. And then our favorite, of course, that DOE's not in the museum business, right? We've heard that one a lot. Um, so we have faced some adversity, um, but we faced it together and overcome those challenges. And the reason is that it only takes one time being in this place with a family who has a connection to the Manhattan Project or to B Reactor, and to watch that family begin to put the pieces together for the first time about why their relative was so proud of the work he or she had done here, and why there was such secrecy surrounding his or her role for so long. This place matters to people, and this is a story that needs to be told for future generations. I couldn't have worked harder on this project with anybody else but Doc Hastings, and I'm so excited to be here with him today because he and I worked very diligently on this effort at a time when people first decided to commemorate this story as part of our national history, a little known fact that people said, let's commemorate as part of our national history, the Manhattan Project, but their first recommendation was, let's leave the B reactor out of it. Well, I tell you what, Doc and I had something to say about that. Oh, there, there's a common misperception that national parks just kind of exist, or that there's some sort of automatic process that they happen, or that it's the National Park Service that designates parks. And as we were hearing from the senator, it's actually the way, the reason that the 409 units of the National Park Service exist is because people just like you, people just like this community, care about your heritage, are dedicated and work for years to ensure that that is preserved and made available for people to be able to come and visit. And they work with their elected officials, the senators, congressmen, uh, to be able to have these places designated and then cared for. Well, first I want to welcome the National Park Service to Hanford and to our community, and to commend them on their many years of service as preserving and displaying our nation's wonders. <clears throat> I understand next year is their 100th birthday. <clears throat> Speaking of birthdays, as Colleen just said, uh, the Burma organization, the, the group that I am so privileged and have the honor of representing, the B Reactor Museum Association, Burma for short, we just say Burma all the time, was founded 25 years ago in November of 1990. So this is somewhat of our anniversary too. Back then the Hanford facilities were undergoing a major change. Uh, all the production had stopped and the cleanup was the new watchword. Preservation certainly was not. And <clears throat> all the reactors were being listed or formed on a list for cocooning, in other words, taken out of, out of display and not available for public access. And that included B Reactor to be added to that list. And our members, uh, founding members, most of who had worked at B Reactor or at other Hanford facilities, were well aware of the huge historical significance of this facility. And we set out to preserve it. We didn't want to see it cocooned like the other reactors. I want to make a confession of, as a past elected official for 20 years. Wisdom doesn't start when you get elected. It comes from the people that tell you about things that need to be preserved or whatever needs to be done. I think Senator Catwell and I think Senator Murray would agree that we are the facilitators of what you all thought about. And today we have uh, this opportunity to, to celebrate that. 